Hey guys, great to be with you again. Hope you're enjoying these short videos. Um, hey, let's pray and ask God to come and speak to us by his Holy Spirit and that the truth would just come alive in our hearts. So Father, we just ask you, God, for your Holy Spirit to be upon us, for your Spirit just to flow through these words and into every single heart, and that Holy Spirit, you would reveal the truth about Jesus and the truth about who we are by your amazing love and your amazing grace. We pray this, God, in Jesus' name. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever had a time where somebody believed in you? Maybe where you didn't quite believe in yourself. I remember when I was a kid, like I was doing surf life saving, I'd go paddle these boards and sometimes the waves get really big. And if I'm honest, I was a little bit afraid of the size of the waves these times. And I'd be like, Dad, I'm not doing it. It's too scary. You guys are probably brave. You wouldn't relate to anything like that, but that's what it was like for me. And then um, my dad would say, come on, Paige, you go out in big waves all the time. I've seen you on the, the, the weekends and you just love going out in the ocean. I think, you, I think you can do this. In fact, I know you can. So you just go for it. You see, what happened was my dad believed in me more than I believed in myself. And it's a lot like that when it comes to God the Father. You know, sometimes he, in fact, I think it's all the time, to be honest, he believes in us more than we actually believe in ourselves. And I just want to read a scripture from Mark chapter 16 that just shows you how much God believes in you. you we already know he loves us so much. God loves you. You're his favorite favorite. We're all his favorite. Don't worry, he doesn't have real favorites. But we all are his favorites. And he, um, he tells us this about ourselves. And he just gives you an insight, like gives you an understanding of how much he believes in us. You ready? This is Mark chapter 16. It said, and this is Jesus speaking. And, and then he told them, Jesus tells them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone, anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. But anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. These miraculous miracle signs will accompany, will follow those who believe in Jesus. They will cast out demons in my name. They'll speak in new languages. They'll be able to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. They will cast, uh, they will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will all be healed. Guys, I don't even caught that. It says um, these miraculous signs will follow, will accompany everybody who believes. And now let me just... Let's just find out who's in the room. Is anyone here a believer of Jesus? I am. I believe in Jesus. Well, isn't this wild what the word of God is saying? Anyone who would believe these things are going to happen. You're going to be able to handle poisonous snakes. I don't want to, but if God puts me there, I'll do it. I'm going to be able to heal the sick and they will recover. And if demons come along, we'll, you know, tell them to go away. <laughs> Isn't this wild that God believes in us so much? Because if, if, if you asked me, you know, when I was maybe your age, uh, to what I thought was possible, what God could do through me, I'd probably think, I don't know, maybe I could one day grow up to have a good job and, and be in the church somehow. And that's all good. It's good to have a good job and it's good to work in the church. But God's belief in you and me is so much bigger than that. He actually says, if you believe in me, believe I'm in you, believe I love you, believe I live through you, you are going to cast out devils, heal the sick, preach the gospel. People are going to be saved. You're alive to see God's kingdom flood the earth, see the lost get saved, see the sick get healed, and see the kingdom of God gloriously advance. And he wants to do all that through little old you and me. 
the ones who believe in Jesus. Isn't that amazing? So my prayer for you today is that you would just believe in Jesus and what he wants to do through you. You know, the pressure's kind of off us. We don't have to do it all. He does it. We just have to believe that that's what he wants to do, that he is more than capable and he's going to do that through your life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.